and I'm gonna eat one more, so it'll be three, and I'm already Hi, full. See. Hi, friend. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so I already ate two, and I'm eating one more right now. <laughs> Long day so far. Didn't go according to plan. We're supposed to go on a trip, and we're not going on the trip. Chilling, and right now we're actually going to the center. We're going to see if we can try some of the Colombian food. We're going to go and try and see if we can see if we can get some street food. I really want some arepas, and I just kind of want to bring you bring you along for it. I don't. I'm not sure if we're going to find it. We we have one lady who's there that can really help us out, and because she makes really good um, arepas. Um, if not, uh, I know. Okay, and here we go, in the center on a Saturday, which is I think when all the people up here, the local Colombians, love to come out, especially with their families. I feel like it's a super safe time if you're coming here to walk around. And one thing I really love about Colombia, not only, or here in Bogota, not only in the center, but even close to the center, is there's an endless amount of little stores, like suits, uh, electronics, clothes, um, <laughs> So many suits, um, and you kind of can get lost in the back streets, which are okay. I, I don't feel any kind of like feel like it's dangerous, but I feel like you can just walk around and go into little stores. Just about everything you need, you can buy from a little store. I almost feel you rarely ever really need to go to. You rarely ever need to go to a big store. I feel like that's there's so many little ones that you don't really, yeah, you don't really need to do 100 percent, and an unlimited amount of cafes. Unlimited. Once again, you can see everywhere you go, so much graffiti everywhere. But it's very like artistic graffiti. I actually like it. I was first like, ah, uh, I don't know. And now I see I'm like, yeah, the graffiti really makes it stand out. Makes the whole, makes it stand out. Bogotá stands out to me because of the graffiti. And one thing I will say is if you're from like a, big like Western society and you come down here on like a Saturday, you'll see a lot of things that you're like, shouldn't that be illegal selling on the street? Like, are they able to do that? But I realize here everything's pretty much, I don't see any police on the weekends, there's a lot of people here, but it's kind of like just everything. Every little corner they're selling something, making something, eating something, sleeping somewhere, drinking something. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. My brain is just like, what did I just look at? But uh. Yeah, that's how it is sitting in the center. And actually, I just asked a question on TikTok, but maybe you guys can help me here. We see so much sweets, so much food, so much uh, little snacks you can have on the road. I don't understand how are the people in Colombia like healthy, like everyone's walking, no one's really big. You're not like Americans, how we are in North, in North America, United States. Like what is the... Like what is the, there has to be some kind of secret. Cause there's it, it, coffee all day, so much bread in the mornings. What, if someone from Colombia is watching this, what's the secret? Do you guys drink a lot of water? Do you walk around a lot? I just posted on TikTok, so I'm curious to see what they say. But yeah, it's, it's very impressive. <laughs> there has to be a secret. Okay, so I think we found the place where if you were really a local local where you'd want to eat. If this isn't the local place, then I don't know what it is. Little shop just on the corner. Everything is 2,000 pesos. So that's like, not even, <laughs> 40, 30, 35 cents. 35 cents yeah and it's a really like I, I love hole in the wall kind of restaurant places I love little hole in the wall restaurant places Whoa. Ah, it's hola hola um dos de este que es este solo carne sin arroz nada no Y la 
Okay, so we're learning that one of them has like meat, rice, and and eggs. Another one has chicken and other one has chicken and I think rice as well. But it's a super hole in the wall place and 35 cents each. <laughs> and este aquí is typical de Bogota, Colombia. Okay. Uh, de Bogota or Colombia? Colombia. Ah. So, for example, gente aquí todos los días este? Sí. Todos los días? Todos los días? Y cómo se llama de esto? Pasteles de yuca. Pasteles de yuca. ¿Pas qué? De yuca. De yuca. Pasteles de yuca. Y este empanada de. De arroz carne. Vale, okay. Okay, well, the one thing I say is there's I realize there's lots of different kinds of people here, but I realize there's people who try to understand me when I'm speaking in my horrible Spanish, and there's other people who just, when they don't understand me, they just don't even look at me and they look down. Um, but don't let this stop you from traveling. Don't let it stop you. Keep repeating yourself again. Eventually, it'll make them want to uh, want to want to listen because you're just being annoying. <laughs> Okay, TikTok. You guys told me to try and yuca. Este es yuca. Pastel de yuca. Pastel de yuca. Super rico, delicioso. Es. Sí, y no entiendo por qué es no muy caro, por ejemplo. Puedo comer es dos, es solo dos mil para este aquí. El restaurante cuatro y cinco, pero. Super rico. Que okay, lo próximo es que, and I have uh, like I'm probably gonna get two or three more of these. And we'll see how much I can eat. Any other things I should eat after this? Should it be a cacao, uh, uh, chocolate con leche? Que es después de este? No, no, no. Um, let me know. <laughs> And one thing, to break a myth. I guess there are a lot of people in here. To break a myth, everyone said that when you come to Colombia, there's no salsa. Like, there's so much salsa everywhere. Ketchup, mayonnaise, like homemade. Homemade salsa, spicy salsa, picante, muy picante. So, yeah, don't, oh, don't, that's a myth, I don't know why people talk about it. And the one thing, one of our people we know, Colombians, said don't come that there's not a lot of meat. Meat is everywhere here. I almost say there's more, it's hard to find vegetarian places, but there is, but there's a lot of meat everywhere. But uh, this is definitely uh, an experience. And good. Hasta luego. Wow, so we just met some people, explained to us so much, and they were so happy. If you guys, if you guys, Y'all are gonna watch this YouTube video and be like, oh, that was him. So nice to meet you. And they said, we have to try the, after this, we have to try the uh, chocolate con queso. And I thought the, the cheese goes inside, I mean, on the side, like like wine and cheese. But no, they say it's chocolate with the cheese inside the chocolate and cream, double cream in it. So I was asking them how they're able to do it. And they said that the Colombians just have a strong stomach. So um, we're working on that. A little bit, un poco más tiempo, a little more time, and then we'll be, we'll be there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Ooh, so we are leaving here now. The hole in the wall restaurant. I'm not sure which way we're gonna go. <laughs> so we're just leaving our place now, and we really tried. That is about as local as you can get. I'm not sure if there's a more local place. Ooh. And I think I kind of understand a little bit how the Colombians do it, is they don't eat a lot. So I, I got, I ate two of these there, and I'm gonna eat one more. 
and I'm gonna eat one more, so it'll be three, and I'm already Hi, full. See. My friend. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so I already ate two, and I'm eating one more right now. <laughs> I'm eating one more right now and I'm gonna be probably full. So I can understand how coming here, so to fill me up, I had three of three of these and they're 35 cents each. So it's about a dollar five plus a Coca-Cola, which was another 35 cents. So a dollar seventy and that filled me up. So I hope that, that gives you a little bit of uh, a little bit of idea of what it's like uh, here in Colombia a little bit. Okay, so we just found the place where we can get the chocolate with cheese. I'm still eating this though, and I wanna give myself a little bit of a pause before I do it. This is the place to get it. So we're gonna wait a little bit, then I think come back here. It looks like we kind of stumbled into like a little market area. Man, there's so much going on. I don't know, I'm not sure if I've actually seen a city that has more things going on in more places it's not just concentrated in one space, it's concentrated like everywhere. I'm not sure if I've seen more in one place than here in Bogota. Like everywhere. Hola! <laughs> I don't know if I've seen more in any other place. No, no gracias. Inglés, amigo. <laughs> yeah, there's like so much going on here, like everywhere. And all the streets, as soon as you come downtown, it's just life. Like that's the easiest way to say it. There's life. There's people all around. People say it's dangerous, I can see. Oh, goodness. I think he's gonna make it. Yeah, there's just kind of like so much going on, like everywhere. And people say it feels unsafe, but the thing is I find that's hard to believe because there's so many people here. And on a Saturday and a Sunday, even as I'm walking around, there's so many people, families, you'll see kids running off by themselves, like the person's behind, like the family's behind them uh, catching up. But still, that says a lot from a city where you can have your kid just run off, you know, not holding hands. And another sign that I really look for is people who are walking around holding their, uh, their bags in front of them. That's usually a sign is like, be careful. And I don't see that, maybe one out of every five people. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I'm really impressed. And if you don't know what to do in Bogota, even if you're by yourself, if you come down into the center, I would leave around probably like 5.30, head back. Because some taxis are hard to get and a lot more people, so yeah. But uh, yeah, I feel like this is a good place to maybe walk around a little bit more, see a little bit more, and then uh, see where the day leads us. I had to go to the bathroom real quick. But I stopped in the store, I need to get something so I use the bathroom. And I actually tried this drink right here. I think it's Colombian. It's okay. He said it's muy typical, that it's very typical that I hear. Mm, not a fan. But I tried it though. Another drink that I've tried. Hey, gracias, man. Hasta luego. Ooh, that was really. Oh, actually, it wasn't that bad. The, sir, the thing is, I'm not the greatest food. Um, I'm not the greatest person for food. Crit critics because I'm such a people person. Even if the food isn't good, if the service is great, I'm just like super happy about it. I'm like, I gotta go back there. And not even because of, uh, not even because of the food, but because the people were so nice there. But let's keep on exploring a little bit. Bring you guys on a little bit of a walk. Uh, that's a big area. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's so much going on here. Like we just left a very like congested place with a lot of people and everything going on. And now in a place right here where there's a lot of people and a lot going on. And I do, I do understand a lot of you guys when you come here when you're feeling lost. I just wanted to say uh, for me, a lot of times I walk around, you guys think like, man, he knows what he's doing. He knows where he's going. His memory's so great. But so many times I'm lost as well. And when I'm lost, I just walk around and make friends, talk to people, say hello, walk a little bit slower like a local person till I find my way. And then I always make sure I know the, how to get home from a certain place that everybody knows. So the cathedral, like asking someone, where's the cathedral? 
they point you in that direction and knowing how to get home from there, not knowing how to get home from everywhere. And that's a little thought I share from here in, uh, here in Colombia, in Bogota, in El Centro. Hey! <laughs> from here in Bogota, in El Centro, and yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of Colombia. I love it here. I love the prices. I love how people help, how friendly people are. Um, Hey, this is the lady from the vlog the other day. You guys remember her? <laughs> or oh, she looks like the girl from the other day. But what on earth? <laughs> you never know what you're gonna see. Walking around. <laughs> and you never know what you're gonna see in Bogota. So I definitely recommend you guys come and check it out. See for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. See for yourself. And um, yeah, I think that's kind of it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna walk around explore chill out and enjoy being in bogota and appreciate y'all coming along and uh wow so interesting here i love it